हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई सोनाली द्विवेदी वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ई ट्यूशन टू द क्लास सिक्स साइंस चैप्टर फोर सॉर्टिंग मटेरियल्स इन टू ग्रुप्स सो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द पार्ट वन एंड टूडे वी विल स्टडी द पार्ट टू बिफोर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट ई ट्यूशन इज प्रोवाइडिंग एजुकेशन फॉर बेटर टूमोरो सो यू कैन सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड गेट द फ्री अनलिमिटेड एजुकेशन सो इन द पार्ट टू द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी आर द प्रॉपर्टीज दैट इज सॉलिबिलिटी इन सॉलिबिलिटी फ्लोटिंग सिंकिंग ट्रांसपेरेंट ट्रांसल्यूशन एंड ऑपैक so in the earlier part 1 we have already discussed that what is the need for the classification and two properties of the materials that are needed to classify them so the rest properties we will study in this part 2 so moving on to the topic we will first study about the solubility so the solubility concept comes from the particle getting dissolved into a solution or completely disappearing in it substances which have completely disappeared or dissolved in water is said to possess the solubility so in this picture we can see when we are adding salt or sugar to a water solution and when we completely stir it for some time then after some time we see that the substances has completely disappeared or it is completely dissolved in water so in this case it is said to possess the solubility so apart from this there are some examples which are completely soluble of the solid liquid and gases things like salt sugar coffee dissolve in water they are soluble they usually dissolve faster and better in warm or hot water so these were the examples of the solids which are completely soluble in this hot or warm water comparison to a hot or warm water when we keep a cold water the rate of the solubility decreases because there is a process when we increase the temperature with the increase of temperature the rate of solubility also increases so here in this case also when temperature is added that is it is warm or hot water then only the rate of the solubility increases next moving on to the case of liquid we can take samples of vinegar lemon juice which are completely dissolving liquid so it is called also miscible liquid miscible means they are completely mixed from the word mixed it is said miscible liquid then for the gases oxygen gas dissolved in water is very important for the survival of animals and plants that live in water so from these we can study that there are some examples of all the solid liquid and the gases which are completely dissolved in the liquid or a given solution apart from this kind of solid or liquid or gases there are some kind when we completely stir for some time they do not get dissolved rather they form a layer up or above or bottom of the liquid so those are called the insolubility or the insoluble substances substances that do not mix with water and do not disappear even after we stir for a long period of time these substances are called insoluble substances so here we can see the mixture of sand and water when first we will add sand into the water and we will stir it we will see that the particles they settle at the bottom and when we add oil to the water and again we stir it it settle at the top layer of the water so in both the cases there is a common thing can you notice that is these particles are not mixing with it properly rather they are forming layers below or above the water so these are called the insoluble substances so two things are there first is soluble another one is insoluble substances soluble means complete dissolving 
Insoluble means not complete dissolving or we can say they are not at all dissolving. Next, we will see objects may float or sink. Earlier we saw that some substances like sand particles, they are getting into the bottom and some particles like oil that is floating above the water. Also, we can see this tumbler fill up with water. We can see the substances. There are some substances which are dissolved, that is they are sinking in water and some substances that are floating in the water. So those substances that are sinking, like we can see key is sinking, then coins are sinking and in the floating case, there is plastic ball, then we can see leaf is floating. So how can we categorize that which substances will sink and which substances will float? So the basic property for categorizing that the substances or the objects which will float or sink is depending upon the weight of the objects. Objects which are lighter than water will obviously float on water means water there will be water substance and we will add one particle or object which is having lesser weight as compared to the water. When we will put suppose we have put here a plastic ball plastic ball it is lighter than water then it will not get enough force to go inside to the water. As a result, it will float on the surface of the water. So the basic thing to classify the object on the basis of floating or sinking is that objects who are having lighter weight, they will float on water and objects which are having heavier weight, they will sink in the water. This is the main thing to be added for categorizing the object in the basis of floating and sinking. Next, about the sinking. When a body is let into a liquid and if the weight of that body is greater than that of the weight of the liquid, then the body gets fully immersed inside that liquid and reaches the bottom most surface of the liquid container. So, in the floating and sinking, it is categorized. We already studied that weight is the important thing. Suppose we can also take some examples like here it is taken coin. We can take example of a log of wood. When we are taking log of wood, it is floating. So, it is lighter weight. Okay, And when we are taking stone, it is heavier weight than that of the water. So it will sink into the water. So in both the cases, weight matters. Suppose the weight of water is 200 gram. We have taken, assuming that we have taken 200 gram and we are taking a particle whose weight is, in one case, whose weight is 80 gram and in another case, whose weight is 250 gram. But in both the cases, the weight of water is 200 gram. So in the first case, when we are taking weight of water is 200 gram and weight of object is 80 gram. So in that case, weight of object is lesser. So it will float. And in the second case, the weight of water is lesser and the weight of object is heavier. So it will sink. So weight is the important thing. Next. So here we can see some absorbed phenomena like it is given a window screen and in the three cases we have to determine in which case we are able to see the outer surrounding. So which cases picture 1, picture 2, picture 3. Which cases? This is the picture 1, picture 2, picture 3. So in case of picture 1 we are able to see the scenery or the environment clearly. But in the second picture, we are able to see but dimmer, not clearly. And in the third case, we are not able to see anything clearly. So, these are the things that we can see. So here light passes clearly, here light is not able to pass clearly or some beam light is able to pass and in this case light is totally not passing. So based on this, there are three type of objects classification, transparent, translucent and another one is opaque. 
So first is transparent. Those substances or material through which things can be seen easily are called transparent. Example, glass, water, air and some plastics are examples of transparent material. Also, we can see one common example when we go to a shop, the shopkeeper has kept some chocolates or biscuits in the glass jar which we are able to see. So, that is also an example of the transparent material. So, this is the concept where the substances are easily seen. Next, translucent. The materials through which objects can be seen but not clearly or we can say light is passing but not clearly. That's why we are not able to see the objects clearly. So examples are frosted glass, buttered paper, tissue paper, various plastics and so on. So here we can take an example of a bathroom where the door or the window is covered with ground glass. That's why the outer thing is not visible properly. So that is the example of the translucent. Next is the opaque. Opaque means there are the material through which we are not able to see anything. So the first case was we will be able to see everything. Second, we will be able to see but not everything or very clearly. And the third, we will be not able to see anything. So examples are wood, stone, metal, concrete, etc. And this can be taken as the example of the doors of our houses. When we close the door, we are not able to see anything outside it. But when we are opening, then only we are able to see. So this was the concept of transparent, translucent and opaque. So today we studied the properties of solubility then insolubility. Solubility means they will be completely dissolved. Insolubility not completely dissolved. Based on that. They were forming the layers bottom or the top layer and that property was used for the process of floating and sinking. Those objects which are sinking are having heavier weight than that of water and those who are floating are having lighter weight than that of water. And the last one was about those things that where we are able to see clearly, where we are able to see clearly, not clearly and then not at all so here is also one example which better makes us understand about the concept of transparent object translucent object and opaque object in the first case in the glass we are able to see the water clearly so it is transparent object in the translucent we are able to see the surface but not very clearly and in the last one we are not able to see anything through the object so this was all about the chapter 4. So here we are completed with this chapter. In the next class we will study the chapter 4. Chapter 5. So that's all. Thank you.